so what I want to do now is create my first table in the Axis database. Uh, and the table we're going to create is um, this one here, which is the customer table. You've been given the details of this. So we need to enter, create a new table, enter the attributes for the entity. These are called fields in a table and the different data types. So let's just put that to one side. So I can use it in a moment. Now, if you're in the, um, Access and you come straight from creating the database, you'll already see a table set up for you. I'm going to, if you don't and you get this blank screen, you just go create. And we create a new table and we just press table. Uh, you can actually in Access start adding data and it will create fields for you in this like grid view. Not a good idea. So we're going to click on at the top left hand side here. We're going to click on this edit view. Um, sorry, it's design view. And it's asking for a table name. So I'm going to call this customer. Because it's going to hold customer details. Uh, always a good name. A bit like visual basic variables. If you're going to give table more than one name. Then use camel case and make it one word it's just easier really but this is just customers sufficient so it's the table that's going to hold the customer details click OK then we get a separate grid and this doesn't look too unlike the table in Word I'm going to be keying from I've been using two screens so I can see it in there so the first field I need to do is the customer number now you can see that access by default gives every table an ID field with auto number so a unique identifier and this little key symbol says it's the primary key I do want to create a field that's auto number and is the primary key but I'm going to actually call it customer number so access when it creates each customer record will give them a unique number from this auto number and the key symbol means it's a primary key it's the unique identifier for each record in that table Let's whiz through some of the other fields and cover some of the basics. I won't do all of them, but because you can do them yourselves. Now, on my table design, it says title. Whoops, let's bring that back. Title is a uh, <laughs> title is string and size four characters. Now, in Access, let's just get rid of that. Uh, there isn't string. There is something called short text, and it's the default for a field. So short text but it actually if you look down the bottom here in the field properties that gives me 255 characters not particularly short if you ask me and that's a lot of wasted space we only want four characters the title is things like mr mrs etc you can put a little text description just to explain what's going to be in there but it's the title of the person miss and ms let's put a few more in um first name once again Camel case, no gaps, it's the best way to do it, just like Visual Basic Variables. Uh, it's going to be text again, so I'm going to accept short text, and I've put down, um, it's 50 characters. So I type down the bottom, in the field size, 50 characters restricts the size. Now one other thing I'm going to show you here, in the properties, in the table design, it says, oh, I missed it for title as well, it says both title and first name are required that means they must enter that information when they're creating a customer record what you can do down here is where it says required so I'm on the first name you just switch that to yes and access and we also need it on title as well actually so we go down to the required make it yes that will force access to make someone input something not leave that blank uh, a couple of other things I'm going to show while we're on it. There's lots of other fields you're going to put in, like address line 1, 2. Let's assume I've put all those in, so you're wasting your time watching me. Though You'll have to do it. So let's say I've put in first name, last name, all those bits. Uh, a couple of things I want to show you. First of all, there is a date of birth, and that's a date data type. So let's say I put that in here. Date of birth. If you look down on here, there is a date time field so just put it in as that and the other thing I wanted to show you you said scurrying around looking for it is a number now there's a field called age 
So I'm just going to put that in as an example. And it says in the table, the design for the table, it should be byte. It's quite a small one. Age, we don't want more than two digits. So I'm going to put data type is not short text. You pick number to start with. And then you have to go down to the properties pane down the bottom. It says long integer. Well, it is an integer, but it's actually a short one. And look, we've got byte. Same as Visual Basic. So I'm going to make that nice and small. So age is now a number, but it's a byte number here. Oops, byte. And one other thing I'm going to show you for signing this one off is um, age. It's got some validation. It's a required field. And it's also got some, the age has got to be greater than 16, less than 100. Well, first of all, you should, let's make it required. So remember, you click on the field where it says required, you put yes, that forces someone to put something in there. Then you've got a validation rule. Let's just have a look at it again. Greater than 16 and less than 100. You can actually type it in like that. There's other bits in there, but let's keep it simple. Age should be greater than 16 and less than 100. Now you've got to complete all the details for a particular table. Let's imagine that I had put them in. Uh, unless they just put some data in. So what I'm going to do is switch from design view back to the table view where I can enter data. It asks me to prompt to save, to save the fields I put in. I say yes. Now I've got a, looks like a spreadsheet, but now I can start keying in data. I haven't put any validation on title, it certainly must be put in. So I'm going to put Mr. Um, a person. Oops, I haven't put the date. Date of birth, because I've said it's a date, I get a nice little little prompt there and age well let's see if that works age I said should be greater than uh, what's it greater than 16 let's say this well, let's make it less 15 I don't press anything at the moment let's say I'm going to go into my second row to enter another customer and I get a basic message comes up says it's got to be greater than six, 16 so I press OK and let's make that 18 so that should be all right. You'll notice customer number. I didn't type that, but it's already put one in. It's put an auto number. And I could do some other one, miss another. Obviously, you'd be putting in the whole lot, first name, second name, etc. But it's just to show you the functionality you get very quickly in that access. Okay, and that's basically it. I would just close that once I put all my data in. If I close access, I've already saved everything. Because remember, access, I saved the design, and it automatically saves the data each record at a time. And everything, the data, the design, the table, is all held in this particular one. So go and do that.